Hey guys, welcome back to Civilization 2 Multiplayer Gold Edition and since the last time we've skipped ahead a little bit because we were having a little difficulty taking uh, Little Bighorn. So now we are President Gemzak of the Romans in AD 1876 and let's jump into it and this song is, uh, well, I suppose this song's quite appropriate. <laughs> anyway, here we are in 1876. We've uh, advanced somewhat to a lot of things and we now have artillery and uh, a few things have changed we've sent uh, people scouting around the map and taking all of those uh, uh, the huts and uh, it's sort of um well we, we found cities sort of all over the place anyway I'm very aware that warring under democracy is um, not the best so if we have a look inside some of our cities here Statue of Liberty is about to be completed in Rome and do we have any other ones? Hoover Dam's being built. Uh, we're in the industrial age quite nicely. United Nations is being built. We're, we're getting a lot of stuff going. Uh, just, and also I should note that we have this very nice railway so we can reinforce our troops very, very easily. So uh, starting with this, we're at Little Bighorn. I have this spy because I wanted to see what's actually inside Little Bighorn. So let's go ahead and have a look here. We're gonna move and um, Let's investigate city, which is free with the spy. So let's have a look. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six musketmen inside. Now these are the musketmen I haven't been able to break through. Um, so that's gonna be useful information. Let's uh, bring our spy back. So there's six musketmen. And uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, one turn's ending here. It does take a while to load turns now that uh, the, the world has sort of... Um, uh, advanced to a certain area. You can see down in the lower right corner whose turn it is right now. Currently it is the Spanish and now it's the Greeks and the Sioux. And the Barbarians. These Barbarians have been pretty annoying to deal with. But we've been doing okay against them I guess. Come on, I want the next turn to end because we get the Statue of Liberty. And, uh, well, that's a Windows error noise. We love the present day uh, cancelled in Babylon, it's fine. And Rome builds a Statue of Liberty. Let's uh, watch this then. Statue of Liberty. Eliminates the period of anarchy between governments and allows all forms of government. And that means... Well, first things first, we change uh, Rome to building something else. Do, do we need anything here? Um, I guess a factory would always be useful. Let's build a factory. Okay, so now we're here. And I want to make sure I activate all of my troops here. Look how many artillery we have. And I want to up, uh, activate that as well. So we've got six, um, six people inside there. And I also want to activate... Uh, actually, we don't have to activate those yet. But under... Let's see. Advisors? Is it advisors? No, no. It's uh, Kingdom. I want a revolution. Because I want to go to a different government. If we're looking at governments, uh, democracy is not very good at warring because they keep telling us we can't war and the Senate keeps overturning me. So... Um, uh, I would like to change to something else. Communism is probably the best one here. Let's see. Each unit beyond the third unit costs one shield per turn. Settlers eat one food per turn. That's fine. Uh, up to three military units in each city institute martial law. Okay, that's pretty good. Under communism, state controls of the economy eliminates organized crimes. No corruption. Okay, that's pretty good. That, democracy is also no corruption. Surprisingly. <laughs> All spy units produced under communist governments are veterans. Under communism, tax luxury, science rates cannot be set higher than 80%. Communism is best for large, far-flung empires that need to maintain a large military. Use your powerful spies to steal technologies from the capitalist pigs. Okay, that's what we want. Let's do a revolution. Do I, do I want to overthrow the Roman democracy? Yes. 
The Romans are revolting, how rude. Citizens demand new government. And uh, I guess next turn we'll start attacking. But let's start by bringing these guys over. I don't think we can attack them straight away. So let's uh, move that here. If I attack here, it's weakened, right? So yeah, that's fine. I'm going to set all of these guys to rest. And we're going to bring all of our artillery up to Little Bighorn. And actually, this guy should go there. Bring all the artillery up. This takes a while. The game actually lags once it's at this, this level. It's not my computer, it's just the game, I think. Okay, one more artillery. Okay, one more artillery. Okay, one more artillery. Oh, there's a couple which are not unfortified there. And uh, the music. Let's pick a music. Mongol Horde. Because that's kind of what we are right now. And wait there. Wait there. And bring up this artillery. And as you can see, Little Bighorn is pretty much going to be mine. Um, and, right, we have these guys. I wanted to build, connect the railroad up until there. Bring this guy down here. And we'll speed up this railroad production because the Spanish are kind of uh, causing some problems there. And this guy, right. Uh, we were dealing with some barbarians, but um, I think I should just leave him there. Because uh, once we go into the next form of government, um, well, we're going to be good to go. And also, here's our, uh, well, uh, now transport ship. It was our initial trireme, that one scouting the world. Well, it got upgraded thanks to uh, Lina Leonardo's workshop. And Hispalis, are you doing okay? You should be fine. Um, let's just build a road there. All right. A catapult does quite a bit of damage. Do we lose this? No, we actually won. <laughs> we got those guys in Vigo. Those guys are pretty powerful. Oh, I can't wait to go down there. The Sioux have undertaken women's suffrage. Okay. They have abandoned women's suffrage. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And you can see all of this. I went here and scouted it all out. I sent a scout down this way, but the, the Spanish killed us. Oh, that guy got promoted. Very nice. I'm just waiting for this next turn here because I want to take Little Bighorn. His palace will do fine. Civil Disorder? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I want Communism. Thank you very much. Now, do we not make as much money under Communism? I'm not sure. Let's, uh... We could probably drop luxuries. 149, 139, discoveries every 12 turns. If we drop all luxuries, will we be, will we be okay? We don't make any money though. Let's keep it there. 10% luxuries. And Gemzak proclaimed comrade of the new Roman communism. All right, fantastic. Um, we'll move these guys first. I'm just using this guy to scout. And that's been built up quite nicely, and uh, we should continue the railroad project down this way. And I think it's time to activate all of our troops. Uh, let's activate you, activate you, and as we are attacking Little Bighorn, I'm going to replay this music. Now, let's grab a piece of artillery. And you are gonna fire. fire. As you can see, even with artillery, taking out uh, these musketmen, we're actually gonna lose quite a bit. But Little Bighorn is their capital. Oh, do we win this one? We won that one, very nice. It'd be nice if we could win a couple of these. So we've only lost one artillery so far. So there's supposed to be six musketmen in there. Alright, here we go. Little Bighorn, you're mine. Ah, oh, nice. We won that one as well. So we've only... Yeah, just one artillery lost. That first one must have been particularly powerful. 
Is Little Bighorn shrinking in size? It should be, right? Or does city walls prevent that from happening? Seems like there's a bit more in that. Fire! Two more, maybe? Oh, we lose this one. No problem. We have plenty of artillery to go around. Ah, uh, there we go. Should be two more. Because that one's weakened. And one more blast from artillery. Fire! Oh, there's another unit back there. Oh, that first one that, that really got damaged. And let's Fire! finish you off. And little big horn is mine <laughs> 202 gold pieces plundered and let's see what's inside we get the lighthouse apparently very nice but mainly we cripple the sioux empire now this unhappiness let's change this uh marines are kind of better at defense here let's go ahead and build one of those here and we're gonna fortify a couple units in here because up to three units actually uh where should i put all this artillery Let's just dump it all in there, I guess. Uh, actually, we should start preparing to attack Wounded Knee. Oh, Great Chief Sakajewea wants to talk to me. Very well. I speak for she who makes mortals tremble. I just took your capital. Yeah, that's now all blank. I think I have all the text. I'm not sure. Okay. Your civilization's greatness is an example for all, but our people grow jealous of your privileged lifestyle. They're asking for technology? No, your people are not ready for such knowledge. War? We are at war. I just killed your... Oh, I just took your capital. Alright, gonna put that guy there. Gonna get rid of your settler. Wounded Knee is up next. Now, if this was a democracy, um, we would actually be forced to make peace. But we're not a democracy anymore. So, we still have this spy. I'm not sure what I should do with the spy. Probably send it to the Spanish? Spies have such great movement points. We're gonna fortify that guy there. And Little Bighorn is now mine. Uh, we should take Wounded Knee when possible. It seems like a much smaller city, but uh, yeah, we're gonna take Wounded Knee and then start bringing our troops down this way to start attacking the Spanish. All right, so what I did to make sure I actually do get Wounded Knee really nicely is that I built a railroad all the way up there so that we don't have to waste any movement points with our artillery. Let's take it. And we've captured the Eiffel Tower. Huh. Very nice. That's still a wonder that's in effect. And uh, this takes away one more city from them. So let's go ahead and train up one more Marine here. Okay, good. We'll leave you sitting in Wounded Knee, and now we can bring all of our artillery to Vigo. Now, is there actually a, a go command? Can I just tell them to go to GT? Go to Vigo? That's not the most efficient way to get to Vigo. Just stop doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to manually move all of my artillery over, um, because pathfinding isn't quite good in... Uh, Civilization uh, 2. So we're just gonna go ahead and group up here. Little Bighorn, I think there's a uh, one of you here as well, yes. So we're gonna bring all of our artillery down and we're gonna go ahead and attack the Spanish. Hey, would you look at that? Pompey grants woman suffrage. All right. Woman's Suffrage. Counts as a police station in each of your cities. All right, that's very good. The Spanish abandoned their project, Woman's Suffrage. Sue also abandoned it, fantastic. And uh, now that we're communism, let's 
get more military because uh, happiness problems and also I want to deal with all these barbarians. You can see here I'm sending uh, troops out to these barbarian sort of collections and I'm gonna go ahead and sit my soldier on one of these mountains and let them uh, finish themselves off. Anyway, we've been shifting, we took Wounded Knee, we're shifting our forces down to Vigo and I've just brought my engineers back temporarily to sort out some problems here. Now this um, what should I use to attack this? I'm gonna use this guy. This uh, particular barbarian's kind of in the way. Very good. So these uh, cavalry are starting to be a little less relevant. Artillery and marines is sort of the, the new combination here. Anyway, I do want to extend this railroad out this way. And I'm sending this guy down there to deal with this barbarian spawn point. They sort of spawn here, here, up here, um, sometimes over here and over there. So I'd like to put military units in all of those locations to... Oh, there's a little bit of island here. Uh, to, in all of those locations to sort of stop them from... Uh, um, well, attacking us. Anyway, production here. Unit supported is three because I think under communism, three units is where... Uh, each unit beyond the third unit costs one shield per turn, yes. So this uh, system of government is much better for military, but three should be enough. I mean, three from each city is a pretty large army. So let's go ahead and uh, build something useful here, like a, a library, I guess. Yeah, okay, good. So we're amassing our army, and you can see how I'm doubling up my soldiers in each city, up to three, so we can actually deal with this happiness. And... Uh, yeah, so things are going well. Um, I'm just gonna have to start marching my way down here. This is a lot. I don't think I'm gonna be able to conquer everyone within the time limit, but uh, I do want to make sure I severely cripple the Spanish and hopefully take their capital. Oh, wonders galore. Antium builds Hoover Dam. This is a pretty useful one, actually. Hoover Dam provides hydropower to every city on every continent. That's very good. Hydropower means production is going to be massively increased, right? What does a, a hydro uh, power plant actually do? Is it 50% increase in production? Because that would be very good. Anyway, here we have quite a few units supported in Antium. Do you want to build anything else? Well, I guess we have so much production, we might as well just spam marines. <laughs> um, well, now with all of yeah, with all of that production, does that mean everything is going faster? There's 14 here. There's 10 there. 39 in Antium. 11 there. 36 in Babylon. Wow. Okay. Some places have tons of production. All right, so that means even these, if it's every city on every continent, even these got a production boost, right? Should be, I think. Oh well, we got Hoover Dam, let's keep going. Oh, I just want to point this out. Lord Macaulay completes his epic history, the most powerful civilizations in the world, and the Spanish are more powerful than I am. So uh, I got to be careful about that. Oh, would you look at that? I just discovered Automobile and it cancels the effects of Leonardo's workshop. And, uh, well, it's because we're going for Mobile Warfare, which is armor. Now, how do we... Ah, Mobile Warfare is there. Yes, I definitely want tanks. Attack strength of 10 and it moves 3. That's what I want. Uh, so, yes, definitely. Get me self Mobile Warfare. Rome builds a Colosseum that... Uh, oh, look at that. Our... our the people up here have changed. Um, super highways. What what do these do? All squares with roads produce fifty percent more trade. Oh, that's uh, that's actually really good. <laughs> uh, should we build a factory anyway? 
Um, the factory might actually be useful here for Rome, so let's uh, get that. All right, look at our cities. It's all modern now. It's only 1896. We still got pretty much 100 years to go, but uh, yeah, um, we're in the modern age, I guess. All right, so we're just about starting our invasion on the Spanish here, and Malaga is up first. So I'm going to bring this spy down. And let's have uh, investigate in the city. Three musketmen? We can deal with that. Look at their production. They're using democracy, I think. So, that's gonna be good. We'll bring our spy back. Um, and three forks built another one of these. We don't need this many here, do we? Now look at all these modern units we can build. But for now, here, you guys uh, build yourself a marketplace. And uh, I guess we'll bring this to the front lines. All right, so all of this is Work out nicely here. I'm sort of setting up a new city over there. Oh, please don't lose. Okay. <laughs> oh no, please don't lose, don't lose, don't lose. Okay. Because there's a stack of units there and I don't want to lose a stack. And those barbarians are a bit Fire! much, aren't they? Yeah, I'm leaving that guy there to deal with them. All right. These Spanish are going down. He say just got a barracks? Okay. Um, build yourself a stock exchange. Yeah. Pollution your Antium. Little Bighorn builds an aqueduct. Our captured capital. And you, uh... You're gonna be growing pretty soon, actually. Build yourself a sewer system. Okay. Uh, you just place a road there. You fortify there, and this doesn't need to build this anymore. I really should build a barracks first, but uh, let them rest. And Antium's still build building troops, because we don't really need this much production for anything, but I suppose they can go ahead and build a super highway. And this, I think, can deal with this barbarian threat. Let's just place this guy... Where should I place this guy? Let's attack that. All right, so we should be attacking. Babylon's making artillery, okay. We could Fire! use that to clear up some of these barbarians, make sure they don't touch the railroad. And now we need to bring these people forward. Um, that catapult is a little, can I bring this guy that way? Okay, attacking, yeah, charge, that's a catapult. Easy enough to deal with. We'll bring this guy back. Let him rest there. Let the spy wait there. And Malaga, Fire! we can start dealing some damage. Oh, very nice. Let's uh, bring our artillery there. We should kind of... No, I don't want to split it to the left because there's no really attacking units in Malaga. And... Uh... Ah, yes, and we're building this road back here. Um, and anything that comes from the left, I don't want people just taking out that stack. All right, so things are going good. Let's get the music back on because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be taking Malaga soon. Let's bring this guy to the front line. Oh, I accidentally moved that guy off. Well, build a road while, while you're there. We're scouting out this island. No biggie there. There we go. I didn't want to lose that stack to something like this. They have so many of those cavalry units. But in this next turn, we should be taking Malaga because all our artillery is there. And there we go, we're clearing up the barbarians. Mainly so I don't have to watch them. <laughs> because every turn, I have to watch these barbarians just uh, move around and do not much. All right, you build yourself a barracks. And we got the United Nations. Let's go ahead and watch this then.
United Nations. Counts as an embassy with every other civilization, must offer peace during negotiations, peacekeeping may declare war as democracy 50% of the time. Huh. Alright. That one's ours. Not all that useful, but I guess it's still useful. Build yourself a Colosseum. And Nineveh is building United Nations, but there's no other wonder to build. I guess we could just abandon it, I guess. We don't really... We'll get a factory instead. I was just building this because there wasn't anything else to build at the time, but uh, yeah, get yourself a factory. It's fine. All right, now. Let's... Uh, I built that fort there. Build a road there. Now I'm bringing the engineers back to the front lines because we need to keep building that railroad. So we have this road on the back of uh, our invasion. Now, Spy doesn't have to do anything. You wait there. You wait there. Fire! Let's take Malaga. Fire! That's the last one there. And Malaga is ours. 51 gold pieces. And build yourself a marine. Desperate Spanish partisans take to the hills near Malaga. And Isabella wants to talk to me. Okay. I speak for she who makes mortals tremble, Consul Isabella of the Spanish. That's a weird thing to say considering you're a democracy, right? You know, just, just saying. Um, metallurgy? As if I'll give you metallurgy. I'm getting tanks. Be glad you have the accursed United Nations wrapped around your little finger for we would otherwise gladly teach you a lesson in manners. Oh, they have to offer peace. So we could just take peace whenever we want. Well, not yet. War it is. Now, let's uh, charge. And let's get rid of those guys as well. It's on a mountain. Do we win? We win. And let's, uh, well, group up in Malaga. And... Uh, I'm gonna leave this guy, I'm gonna send this guy out a bit, and there we go, Malaga's ours. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna start pushing into this continent. I know there's Sioux, Sioux cities here, and the, the Spanish are pretty much most of this. We might be able to wipe out the Sioux, actually, if we uh, uh, target things properly. Oh, it's the High Council of the 1900s. Let's go ahead and consult them. They might look different now that we're in the modern age. Ah, they do. Military. Our city's defenses are as thin as a Cracker Jack box, sir. Now you do what you like, but don't come hollering to me when some upstart nation puts your palace to the torch. I disagree, sir. Build city walls, as he says. Science. You're Einstein, sir. I mean, you are the E to the MC squared, like a clock speed double microchip, sir. We're number one in science! <laughs> I agree, sir. <laughs> I, I love these guys. Trade. I'm concerned, sir. Caravan production is down for the fiscal year. Is this really what you want? Why make what you can't fight for, General? Pay attention to your military first. All right, foreign. My spy network tells me that other nations hold us in the highest regard, sir. I await your further instructions. I agree, sir. <laughs> uh, that accent is questionable. Attitude. We're rocking majesty, and we got you to thank for it. He's actually finally become Elvis. All right. Fantastic. Uh, meanwhile, Malaga's ours, and uh, we're just sort of dealing with a few things here. Let's, uh, if I could get rid of that catapult, it would actually be pretty good. Can I activate this guy? Fire! Get rid of that catapult, please. Because I want to send my spy out along this railroad that they've built to see what we're dealing with. Like, what's this Barcelona? What's the next city? Investigate city. Four musketmen? Look how many units it supports. Its production is terrible. All right, how many movements do we have? We can do a bit of scouting here. Two more movement units. So we can do one, two, three. Oh wait, that might have been too much. One, two... Damn it. Okay, that was too much. I gotta 
Do I want to defend that spy? Or should I just... Let's go defend it, actually. We should do okay. At least we'll take out some of their units. Malaga, we're resting up in here. Alright, that's good. And we're just extending this railroad. So we can reinforce pretty much instantaneously. Now, I'm sending this guy over to the left because I'm not sure if there's anything here. Currently, all I know is there's a Sioux city there, but I'm not sure if there's anything along here. Meanwhile, we got these barbarians still causing problems. Luckily, our reinforcements can come along and deal with them. I really want to put a unit right there on that mountain so when the barbarians spawn, they'll all attack that. And we're going to put a guy there as well to prevent barbarians from spawning there as well. So, this engineer's done. He can go around cleaning up pollution. All right, Pompey, nice unit. You go ahead and build yourself a Colosseum. And I think with the happiness we have right now, we could drop our luxuries tax rate, boosting our discoveries to every six turns. Or actually, let's just make a lot of money. Actually, no. I want to boost this particular discovery because it's tanks. <laughs> hey, there we go. Mobile Warfare has rendered all existing barracks obsolete. Antiquated barracks sold for 400 gold. Okay, that's kind of bad. But we get Mobile Warfare. And we get armor. Yes. So, now I don't actually care too much what I'm getting. Uh, refrigeration means we can improve farmland further, I guess. But that's not really what I'm going for. What do I want to go for? Flight? Mass production? What does mass production do? Mass transit? El eliminates pollution caused by population. That's pretty good. Uh, but what, what's the, our goal? Maybe I want to get nukes, right? We should get mass production. All right. Let's get that. Now, let's put on some music. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start conquering things. All right, I think we can take Barcelona. We have this railroad built all the way up. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Do I have a injured unit here I can use to take this guy out? All right, this catapult's in the way. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, and we can now, because this railroad connects right up to Barcelona, we can just waltz up to it and fire. There we go. Let's bring another one down. Oh, look at the lag. <laughs> so I think there were four. There were four musketmen in there. And we have one of these. Let's, uh, can I select? Let's get this guy. And we'll just stack up there a bit. No one's coming from the north. And get me another bit of artillery and I think we've gotten back to the age of how we conquered the Babylonians where we just completely overpower them now let's grab one more artillery we got plenty of them and actually now that we got the technology for tanks we should start building tanks and we get ships in port which means they just get destroyed I think and Barcelona is now ours. 115 gold pieces. Fantastic. And go ahead and build yourself a marine. Oh, armor. 10, 5, 3. It's just better than marines. We should just build armor because uh, there's the partisans taking up arms. And uh, Isabella, no, send her away, please. We have nothing to say. We're going to fortify up in the city. And we're going to let the, this guy rest up a bit. And we need to reinforce the city. But let's get into it and... Fire! Do we win this one? That guy's on a mountain. Can be quite tricky. Okay, we got him. And we can send one more down. Because that guy below is in range as well. And there we go, the partisans are gone. Avila's gonna fall pretty soon, and uh, we should make sure we leave someone here in Malaga. Yeah, you 
fortify there. And uh, you heal up, you heal up, and a villa's gonna fall pretty soon, and then we'll just keep moving e uh, westwards to conquer the rest of this. Okay, so here we go. Time to show the real power of the tank unit with railroads. And look at all these barbarians uh, spawning up and clumping up. They got artillery now, apparently. Um, but uh, placing a few fortified units keeps them at bay. Now, with this railroad, it means this can make it all the way to the front line in this single turn. Going through Vigo, passing Malaga, there's Barcelona, and... Look what we've come across, Madrid! I'm pretty sure that's the Spanish capital. So let's go ahead and, with three movement points, we get to move right up there, attack once. We get another movement point, let's attack again. Uh, oh. We'll let them rest, that's fine. Uh, we have this other unit though. Even at half health. And we just took the Colossus. And Madrid is ours. <laughs> the Spanish don't stand a chance. We're just gonna go ahead and build a barracks right there. And, uh, ooh. Did that actually heal our tank? I think it did. Let's, uh, no, send her away. I don't want to talk to you. Let's deal with you. Uh, we'll let them rest, but we'll move. Uh, can we move onto that mountain? No, we'll move back into Madrid. And we have the spy still coming along with us. And we'll use you to... No, we'll use... We'll use something else to get rid of that partisan. It's fine. Alright, so Madrid is ours. Charge at that guy. These artillery is uh, not so useful now because the tanks actually have more defense. So we should be a bit reckless with the artillery, actually. We'll just... Uh, send it out, I guess. And uh, this engineer is still continuing to build a railroad on the back of this. And ooh, Barcelona's building tanks too. So I also sent one tank around this way and we got this city, Ciudad Rodrigo. It was just a small city up there, might as well take it. And let's send this tank out. And there's Toledo. We'll let you rest uh, right there and heal up there. All right, fantastic. I built this mine on this gold deposit here just so uh, it's actually gonna be quite beneficial at some point for that city. But now this engineer can rejoin the fray to, of building the railroad. So Madrid is ours. I'm pretty sure that's the, the enemy capital. And well, there's Washington. I'd love to take that too. All right, so now I'm looking at Cordoba and Valencia here. Toledo just fell, uh, well, like a stack of dominoes, I guess. Anyway, Cordoba is going to be mine. We have a railroad connection, so we could just double attack like that. And uh, let's uh, take another tank unit here. And uh, is that ours? We've got Copernicus's observatory. Fantastic. You built it here? <laughs> okay. Um, Let's build a barracks. And while we're... No, send her away. What what could you possibly say to me? Um, let's take care of you. Okay. Now let's use our spy. Have a quick look at Valencia. Uh, investigate city. Is it just an ironclad in there? Well, that's going to be easy to deal with. We'll use the spy to have a quick look around. Okay, and that means we could just do this. Valencia's ours. Fantastic. Build yourself a barracks. And uh, we need some units to leave behind. I don't want to use the, the tanks to defend the cities. I think I'll use the artillery. Just as some kind of defense, I guess. I mean, it's not the best defense, but uh, I really want to use all these tanks. No, go away. To keep conquering as fast as I can. With all this railroad, we can have a very nice look around. 
caught you out of the city. Oh, attacking takes up two movement points? Okay. We could just push right up. Valadolid is right there. Might as well use the artillery on it as well. Artillery still works quite nicely. Alright. This is actually going much quicker than I expected. The conquering of the Spanish. Mainly because they built railroads. If they didn't build railroads, this would actually take a lot longer. I didn't expect them to have built all of these rails all over the place connecting their cities. And there we go, Valladolid. In a single turn, we just took three cities. <laughs> that was uh, surprisingly successful. No, go away. And we'll use a tank to clear that guy out. And we have a bit more artillery on the back of this. Um, where should we put it? We'll let it rest. Ah, we do have this tank though. Which we can use to deal with that guy. And Washington is next, I guess. We'll group up in Valladolid for now though. And then there's that guy. Ah, another tank from Babylon. Which means we can move this all the way up. Careful to stay on stay on the rails. Just that short connection there that's not railed up quite yet. But we can go ahead and straight away attack Washington. <laughs> this feels almost like cheating. Not quite though. Uh, meanwhile, I'm uh, building forts around these guys. And ah, we actually have a tank from back here, which we can bring up as well. Look at this. Once you properly set up a rail system, you can actually... Well, it's pretty overpowered, honestly. Oh, mismoved that one. That's fine. That boat attacked me as a tank. And here's my throne room. I've been wanting to show you this for a while. We've been upgrading the throne room quite nicely. And uh, just sort of... Uh, we've actually finished the floor. Let's go ahead and upgrade that wall. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Throne room looks great. Anyway, we're going to continue uh, conquering the Spanish. And we'll see how successfully it goes. Alright, so we're actually conquering quite nicely here. And uh, we've got Salamanca, Leon, Seville. Now we're getting Pamplona and Saragossa. Let's uh, use this tank first. Spanish ships in port. And we... Uh, the Spanish continue to build their Great Project Jazz Parks Cathedral in one other city. Oh, okay. And we they actually have a technology that we don't have. Theology. Alright, fantastic. Um, we do not need to build this here though, just build a temple, keep people happy. And yes, yes, um, no, go away. I don't need to deal with you guys right now. And uh, you, take care of that caravan. And over here, we're capturing this city. And again, build a temple. Okay. No, go away. We've got so many partisans around here. Let's fortify there. We'll bring the spy up so we can have a look at what's going on around here. Okay, now we have a bunch of tanks coming up to clear out these partisans. And uh, you rest up. You rest up there, you rest up there. These tanks aren't fully healed yet, this one is. We'll put it into the city. And over on this side... And it seems like the Sioux can actually exist here because of this lake. This lake actually separated... The Americans were down here and... Uh, well, let's see. Madrid was... Where was Madrid? Madrid was here. So the, the Spanish started here, the Americans started here, the Sioux started there. And it seems like the Sioux colonized this side and the Americans and the Spanish didn't quite get around to that side. That's why there are Sioux units over on that side. So we're still healing up there and Madrid is building more tanks. But in general, 
I think we've done enough progress for this episode. We've converted to... Converted. We changed our government to communism. And uh, we built a whole bunch of tanks. We got into the modern era. And now we're completely stomping and obliterating... Um, well, the enemy here. So, let me go ahead and pick a nice Mongol horde music there. And I think I can bring this episode to a close. And look at that. There's actually uh, one more, a couple more huts right here. So uh, we might get another free city or two. But in general, I'm going to bring this episode to a close. And in the next episode, I think we can actually finish it because... Uh, well, we just have to conquer the rest of the Spanish, conquer the rest of the Sioux, and I was planning to nuke the last uh, and the only city of the Greeks because, uh, well, Athens is just sort of sitting there. You know, they just discovered the wheel <laughs> in like the 1900s. So, that's gonna be it for now. And I will see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, one more to go and we should be good. All right, I'll see you in the next video.